Please remain standing for the posting of the colors. Distinguished guests, members of the faculty and staff, gentlemen of the court cadets, it is my pleasure to welcome you here to join us in our annual Blessing of the College ceremony. This ceremony has particular significance since it marks once again the joining together of a group of fine young men with a unified force for good under their own personal banner. These flags will be blessed today in your name and on your behalf, and the belief that each of you will do all that is in your power to bring credit upon them and upon your school, and that you will do nothing knowingly that will distract these flags or official military school during the residence here, and in the years to come, and join the long gray line of all those cadets who pass this way before you, and for whom we saw all, for whom we say all of our prayers. The official party today consists of Captain Mark E. Black, Superintendent. Lieutenant Colonel Tom Tolman, Guest of Honor, Professor of Military Sciences, JMU. Mrs. Susan Johnson, Deputy Superintendent. Major Chip Hill, Headmaster. Lieutenant Colonel Al Gunn, Commandant. Mr. Tim Bowman, Chaplain. Lieutenant Colonel Robert Hunt, United States Army Retired, Senior Army Instructor. Cadet Major Bill Griffin, Battalion Commander. Cadet Sergeant Major Shin Wan Hu, Battalion Sergeant Major. And Cadet Sergeant Bryson Overton, underclassman. Please rise and join us in the singing of our national anthem in God Bless America, led by Major Roger Wells, Christian Musical Director, and Mr. Roger Bagley of Beth Bethany Lutheran Church, accompanying the piano. <laughs> Thank you. 
of combat operations conducted by the United States of America over the course of the last 17 years. Lieutenant Colonel Tallman's first assignment was, United, was with the United States Army Special Operations Command, where he deployed as platoon leader both Afghanistan in support of operational uh, enduring freedom and Iraq uh, in support of Operation Iraqi Freedom. Lieutenant Colonel Tallman then joined the 82nd Airborne and participated in the rescue efforts associated with uh, uh, Katrina in 2005 and then also uh, a signal company commander in Iraq during the surge in 2006. Lieutenant Colonel Tallman then reported to West Point in which he was the Southeastern Regional uh, Admissions Commander and the coach of the West Point Marathon team, which I got to believe that had some running to do with it, which would not be very appealing to, to me, uh, needless to say. He then returned to the Special Operations Command at Fort Bragg, uh, serving as the Theater Signal Support Company Commander, and then subsequently as the Operations Officer for the Sustainment Brigade, responsible for all Special Operations Command signals, logistics, and medical support. He was then chosen to serve with the British Army uh, on their staff and leading to efforts to ensure the interoperability between our two nations' uh, communications equipment. Finally, uh, Tony Colonel Tolman has earned uh, a Bachelor of Science of Information, uh, information Systems from West Point, information, a Master of Information Systems from George Washington University. He's a graduate of the, the Army Command and General Staff College. He's been awarded uh, the Bronze Star with uh, a uh, Bronze uh, Cluster, Meritorious Service Medal, Army Commendation Medal, along with a multitude of campaign awards. He's achieved a qualification in air assault, airborne, jump master, and as a combat diet. Finally, most importantly, he is married to the former Aaron Sheely, and they have two daughters and two sons. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my sincere honor and privilege to present to you Lieutenant Colonel Thomas Toll. Well, thank you. Goodbye, thank you. Uh, distinguished guests, most importantly, cadets, thank you for this honor. It's uh, a truly a privilege for me uh, to be here. So when I arrived at JMU one year ago, uh, I think it was my, maybe my second week there, uh, after a long day out with, with training with cadets, I pulled into the parking lot, and uh, our color guard was posting the colors. It was for an event there. It was the first time I'd seen our color guard, and I was amazed at their movements, their precision. I turned to my uh, senior military instructor and commented on uh, how impressive the color guard was. He said, sir, that's not your color guard. That's Fishburne. <laughs> and, uh, and so that was my first interaction a year ago with work events. And every interaction from there has been impressive. I've interviewed Many of your students over the past year as they've come to me for uh, scholarship interviews for ROTC. And I have just been impressed with you. Right. We had a, a little gathering here uh, prior to this one where I met uh, uh, many of you and we talked about your hopes and dreams. And I am impressed with your passion, your desire to serve. Many of you have a desire to serve your country in one way or another, which is particularly remarkable uh, in a time of war. We were involved in Iraq and Afghanistan and many other things. Today I just want to share with you 10 short things, 10 things that I've learned throughout my military career, things that have guided me and I think are applicable regardless of whether you serve your country in the military, serve your country in another way, or whatever uh, position of leadership that you take, okay? So the first thing I, I would say is know your customers. Now that may sound strange coming from somebody in a, in a military uniform, but you don't have customers. You don't have a product to sell. You don't have a service to provide. But I think that uh, regardless of the uniform that we're wearing, we can learn something from the business world. Something changed fundamentally with the relationship between a customer and a business when the internet came around. 
mid 1990s, um, about the time uh, before most of you were born, right? <laughs> so uh, when somebody could rate Amazon or put up a Yelp review or rate their uh, rate their service, all of a sudden um, uh, businesses improve their level of service. So think about, it doesn't matter if you're in a cadet leadership position, if you're a captain of a sports team, if you're on the color guard, who are your customers if you're on the color guard? Think hard about that question. First of all, who are your customers? Because it helps identify what your mission really is. And sometimes we serve the wrong customers. But once you figure out who your customers are, impress them so much that when they walk away, they will want to leave a five-star review or give you a 10 out of 10. Second thing I would say, number two, is build trust. Everything happens quicker at the speed of trust. Live with integrity, and those interactions that you have um, will, uh, will reduce so much friction. Trust is built over time. It's destroyed in a second and very difficult to regain once you've lost it. So live your life with integrity, regardless of whether or not somebody's watching. Next, I would say inspire, then empower. As a leader, that's what you do. You inspire. It's much easier to uh, motivate somebody to build a ship to cross the ocean if they dream of what's on the other side, rather than trying to, to, to talk somebody through the, the saw this board, the hammer this board, okay? So inspire and then empower. Give people that you lead the resources to accomplish the dream that you've helped establish. Number four, be selfless. selfless. Have you ever heard someone say, that's not my job? Don't say that and don't tolerate it in your organization. So go out of your way to help others, regardless of whether or not that's part of your established responsibilities. Next, I would say team. When we wear a uniform, sometimes we like to use sports analogies. There's a lot of value in that. And I would say the teams that you build, particularly the military, are, um, are just as important as the teams that you watch on Sunday but the result matters just that much more. So put people in the right position. And recruit, recruit for your teams. And sometimes you have to make hard cuts. And sometimes you may get a great basketball player, but they're not the right person for your swing team or your football team, okay? So find, align the right person to the right position. Next is competence. Be smart. Understand the details and also the big picture of what you uh, hope to accomplish. Next, communicate well. Uh, many times in this world we operate in large, uh, dispersed, uh, geographically dispersed environments. Um, you communicate along established lines. There's certain people that you're required to communicate. Well, reach out to your peers and other people. Build, build a network. The bonds of brotherhood that you build here among your cadets will last beyond graduation. And continue to, to maintain that network, that communications network, and learn from each other. Share your good news. Tell your story. But share the bad news, too, so that you can learn from each other. Next, I would say family is important. Uh, many of you are here, uh, uh, separated for long periods of time from your siblings or from your parents. Maintain those ties. Maintain those positive relationships. Care for each other. Care for each other like a family. 
Next, ninth point is grow both personally and professionally. So what position are you in right now as a cadet? What position do you aspire to? Grow right now, prepare yourself for your next job. And develop those that work for you for their next job. Identify talents and help them realize different paths for success. And then last, my last point here is fitness, okay? So uh, all of you participate in sports in one way or another in different uh, fitness activities. Build a sustainable lifestyle of fitness. And so that includes your physical activity. It includes much more than that. It includes the appropriate amount of sleep, eating the right things, and uh, that has a high correlation with how happy you are. Many times we think about what might make us happy, maybe if we win the lottery or something like that. Um, but studies have shown that, that the two things, two of the top things that make people happy are number one, having, for lack of a better word, a best friend, having a positive relationship, somebody you can go to uh, when you're down or watch your good news. And then number two, being fit, being physically fit. So uh, these, these 10 points I wrote down as I was a company commander uh, uh, a little less than 10 years ago. I was commanding uh, units that were spread out throughout the world. Uh, and I wanted to capture the things that had helped me to my career up to that point. I wrote them down and I've continued to help me since. Hopefully, uh, one or two of these have resonated with you and they can continue to guide you. I must say, very pleased and honored to uh, be here today and to meet you and all that I've learned from you. Uh, I'm going to be here at JMU for at least the next few years. I hope many of you will be uh, up to visit for interviews uh, and I hope to make uh, many more visits now. But again, I commend you for what you're doing. I commend you for your desire, your willingness to wear a uniform uh, and at such a top challenging time in this country to choose a path that's harder than the path that your peers have taken, and I know it will pay off for you. Please bow your heads. Eternal God, Lord of History, Red Column and Chronicles of our school, the deeds and accomplishments of each senior and graduate, let the integrity, the loyalty, and traditions of the past be an inspiration and discipline for the present. May we build upon the foundations of truth so that the characters of life of all alumni and seniors will bring honor and glory to God our King. Amen. I'll be followed by the Time Sergeant Major Shinyan Hu, who will offer the second class in prayer. Let us pray. Eternal Father, we humble ourselves in your presence and beg forgiveness for shortcomings that we properly ask a blessing on this occasion. In gratitude, we adore you for the gift of patriotism and ask that we all be endowed with grace with pride in our country. We beg that grace for all of us continuing in the military court, filled with love for our country. We know that this nation of ours has been empty blessed by our problems. Bless the Lord for offering to her today of our continued love, loyalty, and service. Amen. I will be followed by that Sergeant Dresden Overton, who will offer the Anaclasma prayer. Please bow your heads and join me in prayer. Almighty God, grant us your gift of loyalty to our school and our fellow cadets. 
for our fellow cadets, for our homes to us love and obedience, for our country, sacrifice and service, for our places of worship, reverence and devotion, and in everything make us true to you and to the honor of Christian. Amen. I will be followed by Second Lieutenant Connor Green, who will offer the FMS Cadet, FMS Cadet Bird. Let us pray. Our Father, we thank you for the privilege and responsibility born in the Fishman Corps. All about us to the sight and sounds of freedom, purchase and great sacrifice. Our benefactors are noble men and women from every walk of life, professors and statesmen, patriots and soldiers who sleep beneath little white crosses around the world. Lord, help us to use wise our time in this hallowed place. For the growth of the mind, the strength and purity of the body, the development of character, the enrichment of the heart and spirit, the birth of dreams, the pursuit of peace, the bond of comradeship, and the common good of all mankind. When our march is ended, and our last muster has been recorded, and the last battle has been fought, and we sleep the haunting melody of tasks, and stand for a final inspection before the judge of all, grant that we shall be found to have been worthy of the poor, true to our God, and faithful to our fellow man. Pray our prayer in the name of the Prince of Peace. Amen. <coughs> Please rise and remain standing for the conclusion of the ceremony. At this time, Reverend Tim Bowl will conduct the blessing of the colors and the guidelines. Ladies and gentlemen, and distinguished guests, Lieutenant Colonel Coleman, Captain Black, thank you for inviting me back. It's good to be with you this afternoon. And to our cadets and faculty of Fishburne Military School, uh, before I have you seated, we're going to practice point number 10, Lieutenant Colonel, a little, a little physical activity today as we bless the colors, the guidelines here. We've got our United States flag. We've got our Commonwealth of Virginia flag. And while you're standing, since we live under these colors as a nation and these colors as a Commonwealth, Let's pray for the blessing of our Lord God Almighty for our nation and our commonwealth. Heavenly Father, we thank and praise you that you have given to us the freedoms of this land, of this commonwealth. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for your sovereignty, your power, your providence over us as a nation and as a people. Father, we seek to be wise in following you and your leadership, your guidance, so that we might not only know your blessings, but then share those blessings with the world, with our neighbors. Father, we thank and praise you for the, the men and, and women who have fought bravely, who are fighting today bravely to defend these freedoms, even giving themselves to provide uh, freedom for others who don't know the blessings that we have in our, in our land. We thank and praise you for those who have given themselves of the ultimate sacrifice laying them down that we might, laying their lives down that today we might be free and that we might continue then this charge for freedom in our own lives. Bless us, we pray, Heavenly Father, as we, uh, we live under this flag of, our, of America and of our Commonwealth in Virginia. Bless our leaders, our presidents, our congressmen and women and senators. Bless all those in elected office. We pray for your blessing upon all those who serve our communities, our police officers and first responders, our firefighters and EMS workers, we pray your hand of blessing upon them that they would return home safely to their families. In Jesus' name, we praise you and give you thanks for these colors that mark our lives, our flag of the nation, the flag of our commonwealth. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. So as I mentioned, we're going to have a little bit of a, a time to uh, practice point number 10 that Lieutenant Colonel Coleman uh, told us about, and that is uh, an exercise of quad muscles of your legs today as we go through the blessings of the various colors. So we've marked the colors of our country and commonwealth. Before us, we also have the colors of Fishburne Military School and its junior ROTC as well. We have the flag on the far, your far right, my far left, of uh, uh, Augusta Military Academy, of uh, which we will seek the Lord's blessing as well. And then we have the guidelines of the companies for Fishburne Military School. Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, and our band company. What I would ask is that while we get to the blessing of each of these particular flags, 
If you are under one of these colors, or if you ever have been under one of these colors, uh, that you would please rise, and that we might bless you then, as these colors are marked. Some of you are first-year cadets. This is all new to you. Uh, some of you are fourth-year cadets, and this is something very familiar to you. But as I stand before you as, as a, a pastor in this community, as a citizen in this community, as your adopted chaplain here at Fishburne Military School, I want to just let you know how uh, thankful and, and proud I am as a human being to know that your school would seek to bless you purposely for your time together here at Fishburne. So those of you who are fourth year military students, cadets here, uh, you're going out this year after graduation and you'll seek the blessing of the Lord in a different way. And for those of you who are first year cadets, you get to enjoy four years of this experience and uh, may it be a blessing for you as we come together now and uh, pray to the Lord God Almighty. For those of you who are our faculty, our staff of Fishburne Military School, what a privilege it is to be with you today and seek the blessing of the Lord over you. So, let's begin with our Fishburne Military School. Now, instead of asking all of you to rise, let me just have the, uh, uh, maybe the, the, the faculty, the staff, the administrators rise, and cadets will get to you in a minute. So, all of those who serve here at Fishburne Military School, uh, please rise. Thank you. And let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank and praise you for the great blessing of Fishburne Military School, its rich history, and your hand of, of blessing that has been over cadets throughout its, uh, throughout its career, its years here. And now we come to mark this year, Heavenly Father, and we seek your blessing over this school through its leadership, its administrators, its faculty, and staff, for all of those who support this school. Father, thank you for the privilege that you've given to these people to serve your holy name, to serve the honor of Fishburne and its cadets. Bless them mightily with a collegiality that honors your holy name, that blesses one another, and ultimately, Heavenly Father, continues on its rich tradition of Fishburne Military School. To you be the praise and the glory and the honor as we give you thanks for seeking your blessing for this school. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. And uh, let me ask now also, uh, those of you who are participating in the Junior ROTC, or have been maybe in your lives, would you please rise to the blessing of the colors of our Junior ROTC? All right. My next prayer. Lord God Almighty, we thank and praise you for the privilege of, of serving in the Junior ROTC uh, program, particularly here at First Stern Military School. Lord, the training and guiding that you give to us it, as part of a, a military uh, band, a band kind of a brothers, Lord, a brotherhood that you give to us is a, a wonderful blessing that we know it comes from you. Yeah, those times are difficult, and we're challenged, and we grow, and we're blessed. Father, as we, we participate in this Junior ROTC program, we pray for your blessing upon uh, the men, the women too, who are part of this, and all of us, Heavenly Father, that as you're preparing our lives for greater service to you, you would keep us safe, protected, keep honor and, protect, and integrity before us, O oh Lord. And above all things, and all that we do and say, may your name be honored. In Jesus' name, we praise you and we pray. Amen. Amen. Go ahead, be seated, please. And we bless the colors of Augusta Military Academy. Anybody who is here, please, from Augusta Military Academy, current or former, please arise as we seek that blessing. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the blessing of Augusta Military Academy, for the blessing that it's been to its cadets and to our country for many years. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for the partnership that we share together in training young people for your praise and glory and service to our military, to our country, to your name. Father, we commend those from past years and those in the present, Lord, who serve in the blessing of, of Augusta Military Academy, that it would be an honor to your holy name as that name goes forward. In Jesus' name, our Savior, we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. And we come now to the colors of uh, particularly Fishburne Military uh, School. So those of you uh, cadets who are under these particular colors and uh, parents who are here as well, if your 
cadet is under one of those colors, you can rise as well. Uh, and and as a faculty, I'll let you make that decision. If you want to stand through the whole colors, you can do that as well. But let me ask, Alpha Company, would you please rise? Parents as well. And let's seek the Lord's blessings upon you as you come together as Alpha Company, Fishburne Military School. Heavenly Father, thank you for bringing us together as Alpha Company, as we work together, as we play together, as we serve together and learn and grow together, O oh Lord. Mark these lives with the blessing of your Holy Spirit, that their speech would be seasoned with the care and love and generosity that we know from you. Bless them in their relationships with one another, that they would look out for each other and care for each other as Christ the Lord cares for us. May your Holy Spirit mark their relationships, that this world, that this community, that their families would know the special calling that you've given them to be here at Fishburne Military School in Alpha Company. To you be the praise and the glory as Alpha Company comes together for a new year. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you. Would you please be seated, Alpha Company. Bravo Company, would you please rise? Parents, guests associated with Bravo Company. And let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for Bravo Company for coming together with these people in the joy of serving you, their school, our community, in our country. Father, now as these people come together, these cadets come together, and they serve you in this in Bravo Company, we pray for your Holy Spirit, your blessing to be upon them, that their speech and activity and life together would be marked by your love and generosity that we know in Jesus Christ. As they grow and learn together, as they play and celebrate life together, Lord, as your, your cadets here at Fishburne Military School be in their midst, and may they know that your hand of blessing is over them, and may they be a blessing to all. We thank and praise you for this opportunity to come together with your blessing as Bravo Company. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Please be seated, Bravo Company. Charlie Company, would you please rise? And all of those associated with Charlie Company, thank you. And we come together and we pray. Lord God Almighty, in the name of Christ the Lord, who brings us together this day and joins us together as Charlie Company, we thank and praise you for the blessing that we have together as cadets under this color. Father, we pray for your blessing now, that your Holy Spirit would be with us as we come together as Charlie Company, as we grow together and learn, as we support and care for one another, as we serve you, as we serve our company, this school, and our community. So, Lord, bless now. And may your hand be over these cadets of Charlie Company, that they would know your blessing, that they would know the care and love and concern that they have for one another, that they would look out for one another, protect one another, speak well of one another, and do all that's in them to lift your holy name and to be a, an, an honor to Fishburne Military School and Charlie Company. So into your hands we commend these cadets. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Charlie Company, please be seated. And the final color for us today is our band company. Band company, would you please rise? And all those associated with our band company. And let us pray. Heavenly Father, the joy of music is a gift that you give to us. We thank and praise you for the talented gifts given to band company, that they mark our life together at Fishburne Military School and enjoy the sound of music. Use them well, Heavenly Father, as they play the tunes that mark our lives our national anthem, the Fishburne Military Song, and all of those tunes, O oh Lord, that bring you honor and glory and bind us together as a school. Thank you for each one of these cadets and the instruments that they play, their gifts that you've given to them, and use them well, now we pray, O oh Lord. May they too enjoy the life that they share together as band company, growing together, learning together, supporting and caring for one another, living under the flag of Charlie, a, a band company and of Fishburne Military School. And in all things, be honored and glory, glorified, Lord, as the band company does what all of it does to the praise of your holy name. In Jesus' name, we thank you and commend these cadets of band company into your care. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Go ahead, be seated, please, band company. And we thank and praise you, O Lord, for the blessing of coming together under all of these colors. I would pray, Heavenly Father, over this school and all of these cadets, over its faculty and administrative staff and leadership, over all the activities that this 
a school engages in this coming year, that your hand of blessing will be known upon all, and your name exalted and lifted high among all. And you know, as a member of this community, I thank you, Father, for the blessing of Fish Three Military School and its impact that it has among us as citizens here. To the Lord's glory and praise to his name we pray. Amen. Amen. I'm now read the history of military powers. In the days when battles conducted close quarters, it was necessary for soldiers to be able to determine where, in the heat of battle, the regiment was located. This is done by the regiment carrying its colors into battle. The colors are a set of large flags, unique to each regiment, that the ordinary soldier would be able to identify immediately. However, with the passage of time, the colors took on more mystical significance than the identifying markers on the battlefield. The colors became tapestry of their history, the heart of the regiment. Such became the significance in this context that the regiment's loosest colors was, and remains, a major disgrace. With the capture of the enemy's colors, their equivalency being seen as great honor. This is why that, whenever the colors are paraded, they are always set forth and guarded. Due to the high casualty rate among members of the color party, along with the advent of modern weapons, the time honored practice of carrying the colors into battle has been discontinued. Today, the National Organization of Colors still join the units in formations and ceremonies to signify the accomplishments of the past, the present, and hopes of the future. Please rise and remain standing for the conclusion of the ceremony. At this time, we will send eternal father, strong say, followed by the official notice for him. I'll sing verse 1. You can join me on verses 3 and 5. And then we will do all three verses of Fish for Him. <laughs> Thank you. 
close and I'll be retired. At this time, Reverend Tim Bowman will offer the benediction. And so as we go forward today, we go forward under the colors that mark our lives, and we do so in the blessing of our God. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. And may the Lord look upon you with his favor, Fishburne Military School. And may you know always his peace. Amen. The colors will now be retired. Please rise for the official party. 